I run my own race. I'm in no competition with no one. I run my own race. I got no desire to play the game of being better than anyone. I'm just me. I run my own race. Enough is enough. No genocide in Yoruba land. If you attack, attack back. Yemi Oshiba, you deceived the Christians and the Yorubas to install Muhammad Buhari. And after the demise of Buhari, true or false, but true much, the elders in the north colluded together with the help of greedy Yorubas and Igbos, promising them power and token among and install foreigners to rule our beloved country, Nigeria, under supervision of Abakhari. I cannot blame the international community that kept moot because it was our wish. Yorubas, do you remember how Gowon deceived our lawo? Babangida and Buhari worked against MKO Abiola deceitfully to make sure power remained in the north. Do you remember how Gowon brought Fulanese to help defeat Biafra in the civil war? How Egyptian army destroyed Biafra land? Now Buhari opened up for jihadists to invade Nigeria by visa free to Nigeria from Arab African nations that cannot contribute to our economy and to bring them to Yoruba land to occupy and raise jihad flag in Ondo and Ekiti state and occupied all Yoruba lands and implement Ruga to eradicate Yoruba race. I had a dream today, 22nd of December 2019, Mark it down, where Kwa Adeboye of Redeemed Church was assassinated and Wale I pray it will not happen, but Yoruba must pray, RCCG must pray. Do you remember how boastful the Northerners are saying that Yorubas are their slaves, and yet the Yorubas are saying Buhari is right? All federal government parastatus are held by Fulani Hausa Muslim. Yet Yoruba is still in full support of this tyrannical government because of tokens. The only solution is for Yoruba to go and form their own country. The dog that you lost will not hack into the weasel of the hunter. Tinubu will be assassinated by Buhari team. So Shiba, you will go to jail or be killed. What will be reaction of Yorubas? Answer is absolutely nothing. Tinumbu, come back home now before it is too late. Babagida said that if there are shoutings of war by Yorubas, that he will go back and sleep are Yoruba so coward? All elders know the truth about what is going on in Asorok, but most of them were bribed by Rolls Royce and dollars at the detriment of our born generation. Can you imagine what happened on the 6th of December 2019? And a poster dressed in lawyer regalia. What a country. Dr. Lando was said, when a slave becomes king, the whole land will perish. For all to do a republic, not to perish, now is the time to rise and fight for our rights. For what I know, Christians should not fold their hands, should not fold their hands anymore. Yoruba should not wait for the politician elders to give go ahead anymore. Parts cannot break Pam Kane. Only Hearthstone with force can do it. Let's go to the Bible. We know that biblically, Odudua is right to defend his sovereignty and to fight. Christian or no Christian, Yoruba Muslims follow Quran to letters but they are classified as infidel. All Yorubas in Kogi, Kwara, Edo, Ondo, Oyo, Ogun, Lagos, Delta, Oshun, and in diasporas, Yoruba Koyas, 
all Yorubans, irrespective of your religion. Rise up now. Enough is enough. Oduduwa Republic must emerge. Our Father, Allah fear for you, and Oni of Ife, please call all of us now. There are fires in Yoruba roof. Before it is too late, snakes are also mounting on Yoruba roofs in Yoruba land. And the Awuros, Yoruba Muslims, Yoruba pastors, it is when Odudua Republic is safe before any church or mosque or Igbale can survive. Yoruba all over the world, now is the time. Don't be deceived by any religion stand up now. The few politicians among Yorubas are traitors and they are not reliable. So let others start the action now before it is too late. All the youths remain calm, but form yourself into groups, formidable groups, and listen to the others. Don't fight, but if you are attacked by anybody, attack them back. Let's see what the words of God says. When you open to the book of Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 14, says, And I looked and I rose and said to the nobles and to the officials and to the rest of the people, Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. 1 Samuel chapter 25 verse 13 And David said to his men, Every man strap on his sword, and every man of them strap of his sword. David also strapped on his sword, and about 400 men went up after David while 200 remain in the baggage. And for your, the book of Genesis chapter 9 verse 5 to 6 says, And for your livelihood, I will require a reckoning. From every beast, I will require it, and from man, from his fellow man, I will require a reckoning for the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. The book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 34. No peace but a sword. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace but sword. That was the statement of Jesus Christ. Titus chapter 3 verse 10. As of a person who stirs up division, after warning him once and then twice, having nothing more to do with him. The book of Psalms says, chapter 144. My rock and my fortress, blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hand for war and my fingers for battle. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all, stand firm. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever, than infidel. Don't obey submission of weapons in the south and southwest and in Yoruba kingdom. 1 Samuel chapter 13 verse 19 to 22. Now, 
there was no blasphemy to be found throughout all the land of Israel. For the Philippines says, Let the Hebrew make themselves sword or spears. But every one of the Israelites went down to the Philistines to sharpen his plowshare, his mattock, his axe, or his sickle. And the charge was two thirds of shekel for the powers and for the mattocks, and a third of a shekel for sharpening the axes and for setting the goats. So on the day of the battle, there was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of any of the people with Saul and Jonathan. But Saul and Jonathan and his son had them. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3. Let no one deceive you in any way. For that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. Buhari has never obeyed any rule of law. Now it's time for you to stand firm. All Odudoas, I implore all youths to get ready for liberation from the Fulanis once and for all. Odudua Republic is hereby declared action must follow all over the world. God bless the queens. God bless the kings. God bless Odudua Republic. <laughs>